While I do love Layout 2024, after digging in, I hit a few snags. In an attempt to simplify moving, rotating, and copying, many inference points have been eliminated and replaced with a heavier reliance on the precise move gizmo. But with this new system, it seemed that a center point inference was impossible. That's not the case. Let me show you what I got hung up on and how you can avoid it. Let's assume that we're creating a lighting plan for this living room here. So I'll head over into my Condoc annotation scrapbook and drop this symbol in for a light. I can right click on it and choose make group. And then when an object is a group, I can right click on it again and assign a scale like quarter inch equals a foot. When any entity in layout is selected, I can just hit enter to jump into it, select it and make a copy of it at say eight feet. And then we'll grab both of these guys and make another copy straight up at eight feet like that. All right. That looks pretty good there. And then I'll head back over into my electrical scrapbook here and grab a symbol for a switch, activate my line tool, and then let's draw a home run. All right, and I don't want this to be a solid line. I'm gonna move back over into my electrical scrapbook and then I'll just sample this uh, long dash, short dash. All right, and let's zoom in a little bit more. All right, so I'll click once here and then I wanna tap escape. And as I, I start my next line for this home run, I don't want to continue the previous line, all right? So I'm gonna undo that. I'm gonna right click, uncheck auto join lines. I can now click and drag to make these home runs, tap escape to finish that line, click and drag like that, tap escape, click and drag and like that. And of course you can always double click on an edge and kind of adjust it if you don't like it. All right, so here's where my predicament started is when, let's say I go in here and delete this light and uh, decide that, you know, really what I wanna do is like make a copy of this light over here and I can't get it to snap to the midpoint. So let's zoom way in and, and take a look at this. All right, so like as I'm moving this around, it's not snapping to that point. All right, and like just to be clear, the end point is just a little bit off there, okay? But we should still be able to find that point, right? Like I should be able to snap to it. Well, what's happening here is like there's this new heavier reliance on the precise move grip. And so if I kind of move it out of the way and click and drag to move, the object kind of jumps to the precise move grip. The, the precise move grip jumps to my cursor. All right, so what I need to do is I'll tap escape and you can see that this object here does not have a fill, all right? So the fill is what gives me a center point inference right, like that, all right? So when there's a fill, I get my center point inference. I'll make it red for now just so we can really see it. All right, so what you do is you can select it, you can scoot this away and then you can get your center point inference. But look, this new system, it's jumping for that precise move grip to move to your cursor. All right, so here's where the little buried tip or trick comes in. When I select this entity, I can tap Alt or Command on the Mac keyboard to toggle the visibility of the precise move grip on and off. Now I can get my center point inference. All right, so then when it comes to the color of this or the ability, you know, the fill, well, what I can do is just set the fill. Let's just say uh, we want it to be like white and let's just make it have a zero opacity like that. So it's pretty much the same thing as not having a fill, except now I can get my center point inference. So what I really need to do is edit my scrapbook and let's zoom in on these uh, electrical symbols over here. And so all these different electrical symbols, I think what I'll do is like take this guy here and let's assign a fill to it, but let's make the fill at 0% opacity like that. And like really any of these guys I would do that with. So like this one here, I could just select this circle and I could even tap S and sample the, the shape style assigned to this circle. So now this circle has a fill and it's at that zero opacity. Same thing with these. I might even just tap S and do that. Oh, you know what? I'm going to undo that. I want to go in and actually just select maybe uh, just one of these guys because I don't want them both to have that same line weight like that. All right, so that looks good. I'm going to get back to the first page, save it, and close it. 
And now when I back out of here, let's just kind of test this, all right? So I'll double click in and we'll delete this guy here and delete those. And let's just add one of these. So I'll, I'll pick this scrapbook here, drop it in, select it, tap Alt. There's my center point inference and there it snaps. Not bad, right? So layout 2024, I'm still a huge fan. The performance upgrades and increases have been significant. If you haven't gotten on layout 2024 yet or SketchUp Pro 2024, get to it. This upgrade is 100% worth it. If you haven't heard, we're doing a SketchUp 3D Summit in Denver this summer, June 17th to the 19th. You can check out more information at the link in the description and also in the cards. Check out our latest upload and I'll see you next time.